Hey guys, this is Luke Harris with the Farm Finders, and today I'm going to uh, do a quick video on how to use the County GIS website to help you research properties. It's an extremely valuable resource um, anytime you're buying property from us or just anywhere. Um, I'll just start with our first property here. So we make it really easy um, to get to the County GIS website for, um, for whatever county any of our properties are in. Um, click on the County GIS website link there, and then I'll go back here so I can get the property information. There's multiple ways of searching for the property. Each County GIS website is a little bit different, but this is Lake County. Um, it allows you to search with the map tax lot or map number. These uh, are basically portions of the parcel number that you'll see in the ad here. So we give you all the information um, you need to, to do some really thorough research. The tax account number is usually what I use. You can also search by owner name, which a lot of the times um, they haven't updated the online uh, information to our name, which would be Harris Land and Timber Company, um, is what all of our properties are listed in. Um, but account number I usually find easiest, so you just put that there in the, the search field. Um, hit go and then it pulls up the property. Um, the background here is like the roads um, background. So you can see here are these roads that they have. So this property has access. That's one really valuable thing you can, um, it won't tell you if there's like deeded legal access. You have to pay for a title search to get that. But this, um, most of the time I don't worry about that. I just look at the maps here uh, and see if there's a road, if there's a road then you know you can at least drive to it. Um, it gives you all this information here. Uh, it's displayed in two different ways up here. Um, it's got the map number. So this is the, what we call the parcel number. Different counties call it different things. Um, how many acres the property is. So you can verify that you have the right property by whether or not it's got um, the same acreage as the one here. You can verify it by looking at the parcel number. We give you all this information in the ads. Um, and then the owner, which this is the person that we bought the property from. It actually has like the owner's address um, and stuff too. So um, usually I go, I, I look at first and roads and you can see if there's roads close to the property. And then I go click on this thing and it gives you options on other backgrounds. So there's topo maps. That's a cool one. Usually I just use the imagery. Um, so the topo maps has roads too. So it shows the roads. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can look at it, but usually I go to imagery here um, and you can see kind of a lot of times you can see the, the roads. This is the property boundaries. These lines are right here. Um, you can zoom in and out. Um, you can zoom way out if you want, you know, see the whole county if you want. Um, so, so access, ownership, um, and uh, the parcel numbers, you can get all that information. Uh, another valuable thing here is um, wherever my mouse is on the screen. So if you want to, if you want to know the boundaries of your property, like it's like this this corner is pretty obvious. There's a road there, this boundary. Um, but say you want to know this corner out here, put your mouse there. And these. If you watch when I'm moving my mouse around, these coordinates down here in the lower left-hand corner, those are the coordinates. If you copy those and put those in Google Maps, it will take you, it will drop a pin right where those coordinates are. So um, so there, my mouse is right there. Write down those coordinates that you see when your mouse is in whatever location you want the coordinates for, and then put them in Google Maps or put them in your, your GPS and, um, and it will take you straight to that location and you'll be able to roughly determine where the corners of your property are. A um, couple more things. I wanted to show you how to uh, find the GIS website for a county that maybe, uh, maybe you're buying a property somewhere else in the country entirely. Uh, you know, you're not buying it from us, buying it from somebody else. Uh, how would you go about finding the county GIS website? GIS stands for uh, Geographic Information Systems, and um, 
most of the, the counties um, in the country have a GIS website now. Not all of them do. There's actually, I think Grant County, Oregon maybe does not. Um, but let's try uh, Klamath County. And even though we have properties there, but um, it's a good one. So just type in Klamath uh, County, Oregon GIS. Um, and then usually one of the first things that will pop up if you put the, the county name, state name, GIS, um, click on that. Um, and then usually it takes you somewhere and you have to click on a portal. I don't know why they always call it a portal, but that's what they call it. And then, um, and, and Klamath County has a number of different options. So, um, I think it's, this is the one that I, that I usually use that's linked to all of our Klamath County um, property ads, like right here. Um, so, like I said, each of our ads has the... So this one, I think it's the same as this one. But, um, yeah, it is. So, um, but there's other options. Uh, K through 12 attendance areas. So it tells you what school I guess they go to. Um, tax map index, air quality control. Um, and the one that I like best, second best, I guess, is this zoning map. It's really valuable. So let's use this property here that we were talking about as an example. This is a Klamath County property. Some, some but not all counties. Lake County doesn't have it. Deschutes probably does but a lot of the counties that we work in don't have a zooming JS uh, layer on their website. So um, put the number in here. This is actually the parcel number for it, even though I put in the tax account number, but it's the same property. Click on that. Here you go, Harris Land and Timber Company. And it tells you the zoning. Just go over here and the, the colors. So scroll down. So it's like forest, forest range. Um, and EFU is right next door, but we're actually in the forest zone, so ours is buildable. Um, don't take my word for that, though. Check with the county, but, um, and this is EFU, exclusive farm use. But, um, but yeah, again, you can see there's like a road going through it. Um, I don't know if there's other layers. Probably is. Um, imagery. Yeah, but it's all overlaid. The whole thing is overlaid with um, the, the zoning, so layers. So that's another valuable thing. You can find zoning, uh, some counties, but not all. A lot of times you have to contact the actual county and ask them, email them, call them um, to get the zoning. Um, but some of the counties, you can just look it up, um, you know, on their GIS map. And, and you can see, like, if you zoom out, you can see where the lines are for the zoning pretty valuable uh, information. So um, so um, just going through the kind of the checklist again, there's um, ownership information you can determine, but that's not very reliable because um, they can take a while to update it. There's the, GI, the, the coordinates down here in the lower left-hand corner. Um, you can see if there's access to your property. You can see the boundaries of your property. So even if you didn't have these coordinates, you could screenshot this picture or pull it up on your phone out at the property and you can get a general idea based on, you know, there's not a whole lot to base the boundaries on here, but a lot of, um, a lot of properties, there's, you know, a, a little tree or something that, um, that you could use to help you determine, um, the, the boundaries. So, um, just by looking at the map. So, uh, I guess, Last, I was just going to show you maybe a couple of other county websites here. Um, now here County might be a good one. So I come down. Uh, this is an awesome property, by the way. We went out and looked at it. We went gold panning on it. It's got this beautiful creek flowing right through it. Super cool property. But um, Click on the County GIS website link we have in the ad. Come down. And then a lot of times there's a disclaimer you have to accept and then 
over here. The reference number is the same as the tax account number. Click on that, apply. There it is. This one's still in the name of the trust that we bought the property from, but same thing, pulls up the property. Um, you can see surrounding ownership. Oh, that's another valuable thing. Um, you can click on the properties around it. So one thing that's always cool to look for is, um, is there BLM property? BLM land is uh, public land. So um, those are all, but this is BLM, see? So, uh, you know, that's enough. You get to see the, the ownership of any surrounding um, property. Um, so this is all public and you can drive. We actually drove out here. But, um, so, um, some of the county websites, these coordinates are displayed in minutes, uh, sorry, degrees, minutes, and seconds, like this one, as opposed to Lake County, it's in decimal degrees there. Um, so it can be a little harder to use these coordinates and you'd have to convert them somehow. But um, anyway, I hope this video was helpful to you guys.